the fruit of the Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will produce love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love. Here are some things that I love. Pencils. Sharp pencils. Red pens. Blue pens. The scientific explanation for love is quite complicated, but fascinating. When you mix together equal parts of adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin... No, 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 love! It's all about feeling! Flowers and chocolate! It's spaghetti for two by candlelight! It's dancing in the rain! It's sunshine and rainbows! Huh? Let's just see what the Bible has to say about love. Yeah. Love is patient and kind. It does not want what belongs to others. It does not brag. It is not proud or rude. It does not look out for its own interests, easily become angry, or keep track of other people's wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is full of joy when the truth is spoken. It always protects, trusts, hopes, and never gives up. Love never fails. And that's the kind of love that Jesus shows us every day. Yeah. Joy. Woohoo! ice cream. This is gonna be good. Oh. Hey, Armin, what's the matter? My ice cream fell on the ground. Hmm. Sounds like you need some joy. Thankfully, I was looking on the internet and I found this. The Joy Hat 4000. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now I just need to press this and... Are you sure about this, Micah? And pull this. This feels funny. Oh. Ah! Armin, do you feel joy yet? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing? Giving Armin joy with the Joy Hat 4000. This isn't working. Whoa. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Try Psalm 1611. It says, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. You see, Jesus wants us to find our joy in knowing him. A lot of things can make you happy like ice cream, or being right all the time, or getting straight A's, or an autographed CD of the dream, dude. Yeah, baby, baby, baby. Or even a Joy Hat 4000. But those things won't last. The joy that comes from Jesus lasts forever. I never thought of it like that. If my joy comes from Jesus, I can be happy even though I don't have any ice cream. That's right. And he wants us to show that joy to everyone. Everybody needs some joy deep down in their heart. Peace. Peace. I love peas. No, peace, as in the fruit of the spirit. That's a vegetable, Micah. Ah. Chill out. Have some peas, bro. Are you worried, anxious, scared of whatever's in your closet? How about the toes that's about to pop out? <coughs> now! Ah. Well, fret no more with peace. Peace? Peace! The truth and knowledge that God is in control over everything will help you overcome the fears of the world, which include toast! Ah. Philippians 4, 6-7 says, Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. I get it now. Through Jesus, I can have peace, so I won't be afraid of toast. I'm as cool as a blue bumper. Uh, don't you mean cucumber? Nope. Patience. Ah, uh, the library. My favorite place. Nothing like being surrounded by books filled with information and knowledge with no one to bother you. <coughs> huh? Do you mind? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some? Um, no thank you. Huh. More for me then. <sighs> Just keep calm, Lydia. He's going to run out of chips sooner or later. Ah. It has come to thee, lone potato chip. As your salty comrades have fallen, one question remains. Will you be as delicious and as crunchy? Only one way to find out. Well, at least it's over now. Can 
Can't you take that literally like anywhere else? Hey, Lydia, would you keep it down? This is a library, you know. <laughs> Ephesians 4.2 says, Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Well, there you have it, kids. Lydia did not show patience. As a result, she disrupted the library, and now, detention. Also, Mike has got detention for eating chips in a library. You shouldn't do that. Kindness. Welcome to Track and Field Day at Newly Elementary. Brought to you by Shrivel's Prune Juice. He's Pee She's Jane. And we're PB and Jane. We're all really excited for all the athletes who are running today. They look reluctant for physical activity, but it's gym class. They have no choice. PB, who do you think will be the fastest? I don't know, Jane, but I certainly don't want to be the slowest. Why is that, PB? You see, Jane, as the runners start the race, Chet, our very own school bully, will be released providing that extra bit of motivation they need to give it all they got. Sounds exciting and cruel. Ooh, it looks like Chet escaped, so they're off. Run for your lives! It's a good start for Micah. Looks like he's had some practice running from Chet. Interesting fact. Micah is Chet's favorite kid to beat up, and you can imagine what an excellent training program it is for him to run for his life every day. Oh, no! What do we have here? It looks like Gabe ah. has taken a tumble. Let's have another look at that in our slow motion instant replay. His shoes are untied! Next time, he'll have to try harder at crossing those bunny ears. Classic rookie mistake, PB. It looks like this is the end for Gabe, but wait! It appears he's getting a helping hand from his competitor, Micah! Another interesting fact about school bullies is they love the sound of lunch money. I can't tell if he's being brave or foolish. No, PB, he's being kind! Micah is using that to distract Chet away from Gabe. Well, that's it for track and field day at New Leaf Elementary. Looks like there's no losers in this race. We'll see you next year. I'm getting all misty-eyed. Philippians 2.4 says, None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. Goodness. Dino jumping. Dino standing. Plus built-in dino talking action. With attitude. The Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure. I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop. Just go for it. Whoa, is that the Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure I see there? Yeah, my mom gave me this for my half birthday. She always gives me the toy I want because I'm such a good boy. Well, that's really cool. Could I see it? No, I don't like to share. It's mine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to walk away from you now. Hans, you left your... Just go for it! Huh? Who said that? I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop with built-in talking action. You can do it! Do what? Are you saying I can take Hans's toy? That's stealing! Don't be a wimp! Just go for it! Do it! Hmm. Do it! What do should it, I do? do? Hey, Armin. What you got there? Hans dropped his Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure, and it's telling me to steal. You can do it! Just go for it! Uh, you do know you're listening to a toy, right? How about listening to what God says? James 4.17 So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. God says it's a sin to steal, so I shouldn't take this. I should give it back to Hans. Do the right thing! You said it, Captain Karate Dino Cop. I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop. Hans, I think this is yours. Oh, that old thing? Who needs it? Uba, destroy this plastic relic. Affirmative. Do the right thing! Oh, what a waste of a perfectly good action figure! I have the new toy. Sergeant Captain Karate Dino Cop. Goodness! Captain Karate Dino Cop, it's sold out in every shop. How could Hans let it drop? Goodness! Should Armin go for the steal when the toy spits for real? No, he knew a better way. Armin was good today. Faithfulness. In a world where fair weather friends are everywhere. Hey, that's a cool hat! Wanna be friends? That was lame! We're not friends anymore. And gossipers betray the trust of others. I have a fear of toast. Please don't tell anyone. Your secret is safe with me. Psst. Gabe's afraid of toast. What a nerd! Betrayed! 
from the creator of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness, comes a tale of three friends. Friendship, friendship, friendship. Who thought nothing could come between them. The Captain Karate Dino Cop 3D movie is coming out. We have to go see it. We'll see it together. together. But when one of them forgot to do their homework. I forgot to do my homework. I can't go see the movie. But we had this planned for months. Ugh, we bought the tickets already. Their friendship was put to the test. Our friendship is being put to the test. Hey. I just said that. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't sleep through math class. I can't help it. Math is so boring. boring. A decision would have to be made. A decision has to be made. Come on, guys. Get your own lines. Sorry. Sorry. We can't just leave him like this. You know how he is with math. 4 plus 12 equals... With time running out. 20 minutes until the movie. We don't have much time. Go on without me. I'm not going to make it. Would they abandon their friend? Or would they show? Let's do this. Faithfulness. 1 Peter 4.10 says, God's gifts of grace come in many forms. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. You should use it faithfully. What? Gentleness. Just add some stars, then a dash of color, and voila! Armin the astronaut exploring the vast reaches of space! Hey, Armin! Look what I made! That's a nice, uh... It's a hippo! You call that a hippo? Looks more like a blue blob! You sure your pen didn't explode all over your paper? <laughs> See ya, losers! Oh! Hey, Gabe, don't worry about Chet. I like your art. You do? Sure. I mean, the colors are the wrong shade, and the lines are shaky, and the proportions are way off, and... I get it. It looks bad. Hmm. What should I do? Titus 3, verse 2. Tell them not to speak evil things against anyone. Remind them to live in peace. They must consider the needs of others. They must always be gentle toward everyone. Hey. I've got an idea. How about I give you some drawing tips and we can make your hippo even cooler? Yeah! And maybe we can put hippo in space! I like the sound of that. Wow, wow cool. this is great! A flying hippo in space? Did you draw this, Gabe? Yep. You're the best drawer in class. Looks like you have some competition. Don't worry, Armin. Maybe someday you'll be as good as me. If you're practice. <laughs> oh, oh, very funny. Do do gentle Dennis, that's what they call me. Gentle Dennis, hoo ha, whoops! Hi, Dennis. Oh, is that box for me? Uh, yep. Uh, one box of uh, Frank Giles. Sign here. Oh, goody! You can never have too many test tubes. I can't wait to. Oh my! Self control. It's the self-control game! Where each contestant has to show self-control if they want to win big! Round one! Our first contestant is Armin! And he's been given a mystery package! He has to resist the temptation of opening the package no matter how curious he gets! This looks familiar. Wait a second, is this a Captain Karate Dinocop action figure? Huh? This is just an oddly shaped potato! You are eliminated! Oh no! Round two! In this round, Lydia must listen to Hans singing karaoke for 30 seconds without pressing the button that will release a bucket of mashed potatoes right on his head. This should be a breeze for Lydia, who always seems to have a level head. She might just be the one to win big today. People getting jealous of my robot. He's Uber. I'm Hans. You're not. I can't take it anymore. That was quick. And round three. It's down to our final contestant, Micah. What do we have in store for him, Jane? Well, PB, he's got his work cut out for him because he has to stay awake while listening to Mr. Turtel talk about potatoes. Potatoes come in many shapes and sizes. Some big, some small, some are oddly shaped. He has to show self-control right now or he will be eliminated. Must stay awake. 
This might be a good time to tell the audience about our sponsors. The Self-Control Game is brought to you by Obadiah's Oddly Shaped Potatoes and 1 Corinthians 10, 13. You are tempted in the same way all other human beings are. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted any more than you can take. But when you are tempted, God will give you a way out. Then you will be able to deal with it. Did you love that video? Hit subscribe or ask your parents to download the Middle Kids app.